Four men have been arrested over the alleged kidnapping of former Australian Test cricketer Stuart McGill. Early this morning, detectives from Strike Force Kane arrested four men following an investigation into alleged kidnapping of a man from Sydney's Lower North Shore last month. About 8 p.m. on Wednesday, the 14th of April, a 50-year-old man was allegedly confronted by a 46-year-old man near the intersection of Parawine and Winnie Streets in Cremorne. A short time later, the pair were approached by two other men who forced a 50-year-old man into a vehicle. He was then driven to a property at Brinjelli, where he was allegedly assaulted and threatened with a firearm by two men from that vehicle, who were then joined by a third man. About an hour later, the victim was driven to the Belmore area and released. The incident was reported to officers from North Shore Police Area Command on Tuesday the 20th of April 2021. The, the delay in reporting was due to the significant fear instilled in the man, who police will allege was a victim of a targeted kidnapping. Following the report, the Robbery and Serious Crime Squad have initiated an investigation under the reference of Strike Force Kane. Extensive investigations have been carried out across the last two weeks and following those inquiries, police arrested four men in the early hours of this morning. They are aged 27, 29, 42 and 46. Search warrants were subsequently carried out across homes in Sydney's south and the west and also a crime scene warrant was executed at a property in Brinjelli. A number of items were seized which are relevant to the kidnapping investigation, including electronic devices, clothing and we've also seized a vehicle. All four men were taken to the local police stations and in various stages of being charged with their involvement in the kidnapping and are due to likely appear in southern local court sometime this afternoon. No ransom demands were made. Uh, our belief that the motive was purely financial. He was seen as someone that they could get money from, uh, although no money was paid prior to him being released in the Belmore area. Can you talk to us? Everyone experiences trauma differently. To be uh, standing on a street in Cremorne, to be dragged into a car, uh, driven to a, to a, a remote location, uh, physically assaulted, threatened with a firearm, um, held for a period of time then dumped. Uh, I think you'd be pretty worried about your own personal safety, the safety of your family uh, and your friends. So um, it's hard to question how people respond to trauma. Um, so I'd say that he'd be conscious of uh, his own personal safety and making sure he's in the best position to talk to the police. Our, our understanding is that it's targeted purely for the financial benefit of obtaining money from him. When Did he know he the person that he spoke to, he was approached, he was confronted on the street? Yeah, we'll be alleging that uh, the 46-year-old man, who's one of the people that we've arrested this morning, um, that was with him when he was uh, kidnapped, is known to him. Well, I can say he's been assaulted um, and he was threatened with a firearm. Um, and as a result of that, he didn't sustain any serious injuries. He had minor injuries that didn't need medical treatment. But as I said, it would be a horribly traumatic experience to, to be able to endure. With this 46-year-old...